Hi guys, so I'm back doing another video and this was inspired by my friend Marilise. Um, we got to talking, she got me to get back into filming and I don't know why because my camera still sucks and it really doesn't capture the colors at its best. Um, I hope you're able to see the color somewhat and that you're able to enjoy the video. I'm working with what I got here. Anyways, so she got me to do this and she also requested a Valentine's Day look, but girl, this is for you. So I've already applied primer on my eye, so I'm just going to go in using a soft brown color to be a transition color. And I'm going to do this entire look using the Lorac, the Stylist Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like. I'm going to go in first with this color right here. And this is going to be my crease. It will be my transition color. So next, I'm going to go in using this light color down here. It's just meant to be a highlighter. And using a small shader brush, this will go all over my lid. The next color I'm going to use is going to be this um, darker brown right here. I'm going to pick that up with my real Technics expression. I'm going to start putting this at the end, then begin to blend it in at the same time. And that's where the domed shape of it really comes in handy. So starting at the end, I'm not bringing this all the way in. I'm not even bringing it halfway in. Like a third of my um, outer corner will be covered in this. So I'm going to go in with a MAC 224 brush and this is just a crease brush, a little bit more pointed so I can be a little more precise. I'm going to go in and blend this color into the rest of the crease. And I'm just doing windshield wiper motions back and forth. So now with this tiny little brush here, I'm going to pick up some more of that highlight color as well as this lighter cream toned color over here. And I'm going to use this as a brow bone highlight. So I'm going to go back in picking up that first light brown color we used right here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in between the crease color we have and the brow bone just to kind of blend those two together. I'm doing that very lightly, barely touching the brush to my skin. Alright, so I'm going to be using a concealer brush, um, this one's from Sephora, and I'm going to wet this brush. So once it's wet, I'm going to go in with the highlight color that we've been using for the lid. You have to make sure it's wet, it's very important that it's wet because that will make the pigmentation of this um, come on brighter and this is sparkly and that's the look we're going for, so it has to be wet. Make sure it's wet. And you're just going to put it in the inner corner of the eye. Next, I'm going to be using a gel um, eyeliner. If you're not comfortable using gel, you can always use a liquid liner, a pen, whatever you're most comfortable with. So I'm actually going to start this right in the middle of the lid and start to wing it out.
using a pencil brush. I'm going to go back in with that dark brown we had. I'm just going to pick some of that up. Tap the excess off and I'm going to come in and connect to the bottom. And I'm only going in as far as, I don't know, I'll decide when I get there. I went in as far as about this point here, the, I don't know what point this is, but this is about as far as I went with this measure. I will say, um, you want to make the end a little, you want to drag it down a little bit towards the end here, but tighten it up once you're getting in closer to the eye. And going back in with that same concealer brush, um, it's still wet, and I'm going to pick up some more of the highlight and bring it into kind of crisscross where I had that other liner that um, where I just smudged that brown. So now that this is done, I don't know why I do this, but once I do my eyes, I will do the rest of my face and then I will do my lashes. Don't ask me why, but that's how I work. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my face, and I'll be back for the rest of the look. See ya. Okay, so this is the final look. Um, I went ahead and just completed the face and went in with the mascara. Did tons of coats of mascara on my top lashes and just one coat of mascara on my bottom lashes. That's key for this look, uh, so keep that in mind. And then did the lips. The lips is probably my favorite part of this whole look because it's a beautiful, beautiful, bold, vibrant pink. Any bold pink will look good. I would definitely recommend the uh, Revlon Colorburst Matte Balm. These Matte Balm um, lipsticks, crayons, I don't know what these things are. They're amazing though. Um, and they stay, which is very important for Valentine's Day. So definitely recommend checking these out. So whatever you did for Valentine's Day, enjoy, and if you like the look, thumbs up and comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.